Okay, here's the Bumblebee quadcopter. Let's see the box. Uh, got all the electronics hooked up. Uh, like normal. Uh, like everybody says to do it. Multiple people, so pretty sure the wiring's good, but I'm still not getting a response. This is a transmitter I'm using. It's a T7C, and I'll show you what it does. I turn it on. Uh, all the knobs are in the right place. So let's hook up the battery. You got the blinking lights. LED is good on the receiver. This comes on whenever I flip my autopilot or stabilizer mode. You can see it working. Turn it off. But no throttle response. Not getting anything. I've tried to calibrate it over and over and over. Uh, just it's not working. So uh, let's, I'm gonna hook it up to the computer. I'm gonna show you what it does when I hook it to the computer. Okay. So there's my solid green light. So I'm hooked up to the computer. So let's get the remote. Uh, it's probably something I'm doing wrong. Like I said, this is this is the first quad I've ever had. I knew how to do all this. Um, here's the program. I installed the drivers and everything. Uh, it comes on. And it's kind of a small screen for some reason. It won't let me... I can't open it up more. I can move it around, but it won't expand. Uh, I'm showing output... Uh, it's green, so it's good. So I pick on which one I want. Here's the calibration. Okay. I hit start. Throttle all the way up. Throttle all the way down. And it's going in the right, right position. Left, right. Okay, so everything comes out good. Moving in the way I want. I've set all those. This we I was told not to worry about. Uh, now this, see on the bottom, you can't see where the little dial is. It should be like this on the bottom. Uh, that's not there. They won't let me make it bigger. But whenever I flip my switch, A, M. Altitude hold manual so it's working uh, autopilot I left that like it comes I didn't mess with that uh, the voltage and calibrate it uh, it works so I don't know what this read button is I don't know what this write button is uh, I've tried everything I even put make sure that um, that the serial numbers in there which you can see uh, the firmware is up to date uh, I don't know what to do after this. It doesn't tell you after you get done with everything. If you, if you have to hit a certain button, I don't know if there's something underneath here. So you can't scroll down. You can only scroll down on here, but it won't let you scroll down. So I don't know if there's a button missing because, you know, this is missing under here. It should be under here somewhere. I've tried my screen settings and everything. Can't get it to work. But uh, So I don't know if there's anything else I need to do. 
Um, well, we'll turn this off. We'll go ahead and unplug this. Unplug the USB. Go ahead and reset the remote. Make sure it's throttled all the way down. And plug up the battery again. Okay, so green light. The auto's off, it's not blinking. There's no errors, because if there's an error, it'll be blinking red or orange. And no throttle. No, nothing. So, if y'all have any ideas, uh, please let me know. Uh, I do have a DX6 I could try. Um, but my buddy has it and he lives about 30 minutes away so uh, until I get time to go over there and grab it from him I'm still trying to use this uh, if y'all have any ideas just please let me know comments uh, anything like that uh, like I said it's never been even flown yet uh, here's the cover for it yeah, it looks looks legit but I can, I'm missing something maybe Thanks.